We are now recording. Good job, Nia. You get the, I didn't let the meeting go to waste badge. Awesome. All right. Uh, we good to go now? Yes, I think so. Technically. Technically, awesome. there's, a, there's another WebEx box in the way, but I don't know how much that goes. Okay. It's going to cover some stuff at some point, though. Oh, I see it. Let me move it. I moved the other one. There you go. Now we're good. All right. Welcome, everyone, to the April 13th Arcos Large Group Meeting. We're going to start with some announcements. Uh, then uh, status updates and grading, uh, the last few workshops of the semester, uh, project presentations, what's happening next class, which I believe is the first few project presentations, and then we'll finish with attendance. So let's get started with some announcements. All right, so um, I guess the main things that I want to talk about are a couple of things that are coming up. Uh, the Call for Code Global Challenge, I think that was yesterday was the kickoff. I should have caught that, um, but that was recorded to the best of my knowledge. So you can go in and and, uh, and still touch base with that. Um, you know, this is, we've got IBM here helping us out this semester. It's a really good opportunity. And I think uh, if you guys want to want to work underneath a tree in the forest, there are worse places to work. Now, if you want to participate in the, in the Global Challenge, check it out. It's at least worth worth surfing their webpage a little bit. It can be it, it's a, it could be a lot of fun and it's you know, it counts. Um I would like to see one of our projects win in in, in some subsequent year. I think that would be really cool for us. Uh second one there appear up until April 30th to be uh applications available for uh the Cross Center for Research in Open Source at UCSC. Um so University of California at Santa Cruz, it must be. Santa Clara? I don't know. I thought it was San, Di uh, San Diego, but that's a C, not a D. Anyway, um, so they are accepting applications. We went there last meeting. There's no reason to go to the link again. The link is good. Go there. Check it out. Um, if you're looking for something to do this summer, if you're looking for uh, you know, an in internship or a co-op, I think this would be a really cool program and you have until April 30th to apply and they have a full timeline of the program available. So please check them out. And then uh, All Things Open has a call for papers coming out as well. Um, they will run a workshop in or a, a conference in the fall. I think it's in the August, September time frame. Uh, I've attended the last, I think, three meetings of, of All Things Open. Um, and it's it's a really fun conference. They have a lot of a lot of speakers in there. They talk about, you know, if you if you're a very technical minded person, there's some technical stuff on open source. If you're not a very technical minded person, they have some uh, they have some really other good things in open source. And I think I just got a note from Hunter saying that I need to refresh this. Um, so I'm going to do that while finishing. It's just it up. a few things. Stuff like uh, presentation starting next week isn't valid anymore, and after starting Friday, so just ah. a few small notes. Excellent. So I have that updated, I think. And let me bring the chat down so I can actually see what's going on. And let's go back into present mode, if this will let me do it. My family just rebooted my router before this meeting. That was why I was a little bit late coming in. The thought was that it would make this work a lot better. I'm not exactly sure that that's what actually happened. All right. Um, and finally, on, on April 30th, our last meeting, we're going to have a talk by Alan Tucker. Uh, he's the author of Client-Centered Software Development, the COFOS Approach. Uh, if you weren't, if you haven't seen the uh, last meeting, um, basically that's he. He works as an intermediary between um, generally 
volunteer organizations, uh, non for profits that need help and uh, open source projects. So in a classroom environment. So he's, he's a really interesting guy to talk to. He's been in this business. He's been teaching open source for a long time. Uh, and I think we'll get a, I think we'll have a good, a good discussion about that. I'm already talking to him about possible slides and, and, and topics of conversation. And I think at this point I turn it over to, uh, to Frank. Thank you. Well, you know what they say, it's an end and we are almost And we are starting presentation Friday. Uh, showing the schedule, we chose uh, we didn't any projects that didn't submit. We put your spots in for you. Uh, Talia's right. Where did you go? I don't know. And you still have time to work on stuff, but we are well into the wrap-up period at this point. Next slide. For mid-year reviews at this point, we have completed all originally submitted ones and the ones that were submitted a little late. Keep an eye out or make sure you check, check their grades yet. They are so please pay attention to those. Uh, even if you just did a normal status update, if you didn't get five out of five in any of those sections, couple comments or some explanation there's still time to get to five five we still have a few more weeks left of contributions next slide all right up next we've got some workshops or in this case just one workshop um, that is generating text for the gpt2 with abraham that is tomorrow at 11 and that's all for workshops for now Uh, presentations start this Friday. Everyone, every project, every group has been uh, assigned a spot if they didn't sign up for one yet. Um, the uh, roster of who is presenting when is available at that sign up link, that Google Sheet. And the guidelines and rubric for the presentation is available there on the handbook, uh, also linked on the slide. So. Um, I'm looking forward to everyone's presentations, and uh, yeah, that starts this Friday. And then I believe on the next slide we have a screenshot of the, yeah, here we go. Okay. Please, please, please check these out. These are the projects going this week on Friday. The 16th. So if you are a lavender, tutor base, off campus, uh, art, telescope, OED, HF test, institutor, and Nigeria? Question mark. Uh, we'll we'll uh, figure that out. You are assigned to Friday. So this is if you submitted and you asked for Friday, or if you didn't submit and we were only able to fit you into Friday. Please let us know as soon as possible if you cannot make the time we've assigned you or if there's any schedule conflicts. It's a very, very tight schedule. We don't want you to miss your presentation and have that affect your grade. And we, we need to coordinate swapping projects or finding time. So let us know as in if there's a problem with, with these projects today, please let us know. I mean, by the end of the day, if you know there's, there's any issues. And we'll go through the other weeks as well. Next slide. And for the week of the 19th, we have a couple projects for both Tuesday and Friday. On Tuesday the 20th, we have Pull Buddy, Flom, Dorm Design, Campus Map, Elria, the AI Toolkit. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. Quacks, Clip, IARS, and RPI TV Glimpse. And on Friday, the 23rd, we have Yaks, Server Box, Cluster Duck, Excel Calendar, Discord Script Bot, Venue, Social, Submitty, and Legit Info. Wow, what a lineup here. 
And last but not least, next slide. Finally, the Oops. week of the 26th. Oh, we have a little less on the last day. So on Tuesday, the 27th, we have Temperature, Smart Writer, Sim, S-I-M-I-E, Rensselaer, Econ, Dashboard, Raid, TA, iClarion, IBM Truthloop, BrokerBot, and S3. This Linux one. And last but not least, thirtieth, we also have a guest speaker. Thus, we have Graph, Ttor, Tracker, and Lackets. So, Julian's. We only have many slots as there are projects. Uh, Frank was cutting out quite a bit there for me, but again, all of that is on the Google Sheets, which is linked in this presentation. Um, the guidelines um, are all on the Arcos handbook, but to reiterate some of them here, uh, your presentation is mainly graded on how effective it is. Um, we only have 10% of the grade uh, marked as progress. So if you're worried that your project um, didn't come as far as you said in your proposal or you hoped it would this semester, uh, as long as you tell us you know, why that happened and what your plans are around that uh, either next semester and you know, what your plans are in general for the project's future, um, we'll be happy. Uh, all of these are available on the handbook again and uh, reach out to any coordinators or mentors or anyone. We're all very happy to answer questions about these. Um, and with that, we're just about to attendance. I think we got one more slide between now and then. Yeah, so um, any last minute workshops, uh, submit them now, mentors. Um, we're just about at the end of the semester here, so any last minute workshops, submit them now. Uh, projects, work on your presentations. Again, presentations start Friday, so um, really just get those done. Uh, if you want to dry run them, present to someone and like practice, reach out to a mentor, reach out to even a coordinator, we're, we're happy to help. Uh, members, keep making those last few contributions, um, keep doing the status updates and uh, work together with your team to get your presentation all done and polished for uh, your presentation date. And with that, we are ready for attendance. All right, so we're being nice to you guys tonight and letting you get out early. Um, so you have no excuses for not having killer presentations on Friday, right? Um, I'm just going to reiterate that if you have any, if you, if you are not appearing on the presentation schedule, you got to let us know. As far as I know, I have everybody on there. All right, so um, again, we're going to attend through venue. Uh, we've been doing this for a while. Um, let me see if I actually have a venue window up. It does not appear so. I'm just assuming that I can actually find today's date. And remember that you can keep looking at, you know, submitting, or you can keep looking at making pull requests and commits and everything right up until, until we collect your final, your final reports. Um, so please keep working on things as we go along. Why is this taking so long? I get the feeling that we did not gain anything by rebooting. Okay, there we go.
There we go. And there we go. All right, can you guys get the venue checkpoints now? I hope. That's the thing I dislike the most about the way they do it now is I can't actually see what is being displayed on your screens. So, um, Okay, I'm getting some won't scans. Um, but you are seeing the screen. Tell you what, I'm going to turn off OBS. We're going to try just crash your Chrome, of course. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to stop sharing for a second, guys. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to just share that one window. Let's see if this works. I don't know if bigger is better for these images or whether we're going to start dealing from pixelation. But let's try. <laughs> 